Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in Java programming language is serialization. Okay, so what do you know about serialization? So why we are discussing the serialization concept in Java? Okay, all these questions uh, are going to be clarified by the end of this video, right? Now let's see. Serialization, it is a process of converting an object into a series of bits. See here what I am saying? I am going to write a program, okay? First of all, converting an object into a series of bits. That concept, you call it as a serialization. Shall we repeat it again? Okay. Serialization is a process of converting an object, whatever the object that we are created, that object into a series of bits. In Java, object must be serializable to do the following operation. So, why we need to convert object into series of bits. What is the use? So, let's see here. In Java, object must be serializable. Whatever the object that we are created, that must be serializable to do this following operation. Writing, writing an object to a file. If you want to write an object to a file, we need to convert into series of bits. So, that's why serialization is required. Reading an object from a file, serialization is required. Writing an object to a network, if you want to write an object not only to the file, if you want to write an object to a network, serialization is required. And even the reading an object from a network, serialization is required. So now you understand why the serialization is required. So for writing and reading an object from a file to a file to a network and from a network, the serialization concept is required. Serialization is nothing but is a process of converting an object into a series of bits. A class must implement java.io.serialization. So whatever the class, okay, that class must implement in this package java.io.serializable interface to make the serializable objects. Okay, so now let's see. Whatever the package is said, java.io.serializable interface, you call it as a marker interface. We also call it as a marker interface or you can also call it as a tag interface or even we can also call it as an empty interface because no members are there in this interface. Why we use also call it as an empty interface? Because there are no numbers in that interface. So that's why it is an empty interface also. So, java.io.serializable interfaces are also called as a marker interface, tag interface, empty interface. Okay. So, now let's try to understand the program of the serialization. So, how we are reading the data, okay, uh, reading the object, okay, to a file, uh, from a file and the to a file and from a network and to a network. Okay. So, now let's see. A program to demonstrate the serializable. So, first import the package. I am importing java.io.star. So, whenever I import the star, all the packages that are related to this program are also imported. Okay. So, star. So, class employee. Employee is my class name. So, it is going to implement the serializable interface. So, which is present in java.io.star. Implement serialization. Okay, I am taking an employee number 101 and the salary of that 101 is a 5000. So, 101 employee salary is a 5000. So, I declared these variables int employee number and the float salary in the class employee. Okay, so I created a class employee which implements the serialization concept. Okay, so now what I am doing, I am creating the main class. Okay, so here I am going to create another uh, a class employee 2 okay so one second yeah sorry mm. so a class sample is created class sample is created so class employee implement serialization there 101 uh, employee number and the salary I had uh, initialized now this first the class sample is loaded while compiling the program class sample is loaded open press executed main method call Okay, enter into the try block. So, this is a task we need to be performed. So, what is a task? Employee. Employee is a class I already created. A class employee which implements the serialization. Okay. So, this class I am creating an object. 
to access this class. If you want to access the members of the classes, we need to create an object, right? So, with the help of object references, only we are going to access this class. So, employee E1, new employee, an object is created. Okay, with an object reference E1. Now, I am opening a file output stream. FOS is equal to new file output stream and whatever the employee text I created. So, the employee text, uh, emp.text contains the information re regarding to the employee table. So, that is output stream. And I am creating object output stream. Object output stream OS is equal to new object output stream. Whatever the file employee.txt is open at output stream, that will be converted into object output stream. Now, object output stream dot write object. So, whatever the uh, object output stream employee.txt is there. So, here even I am going to enter these details in employee.txt. So, this, this is a E1, right? So, these details I need to be entered into the object. So, OS dot write object E1. Now, close the object output stream as well as the file output stream. So, whatever I entered the data, so these data I entered into the text file. So, first open it an output stream and an object is create, object output stream is uh, created. Uh, so, with the help of the object output stream that the files will be write bit by bit. Okay, a serialization concept. So, what is the serialization I said? The serialization is a process of converting an object, whatever the object is there. So, this process of converting the object to a file process of converting the object to a file. So, by using write object E1. Okay, and closing the file. Now, what I am doing? Okay, now file input stream FIS is equal to new file input stream. Now, I am opening this employee.txt. Okay, so object input stream. If you want to read the data or if you want to write the data. Okay, reading an object to a file and writing the object from a file. Okay, here writing an object from a file and reading the object okay reading so reading the object from a file and writing the object to a file here i am writing object i am writing object to a file okay so that is object output stream writing object to a file now i am reading an object from a file from the file whatever employee one i have written that i am going to read now so, file input stream FIS is equal to new file input stream employee.txt. Now, uh, object input stream OS is equal to new file input stream. So, now another object is created. Employee E2. So, employee, okay, class name OIS object input stream dot. I am reading the object. What I am reading? What I am reading? Employee number and the salary whatever the system dot is e2 dot employee number and employee salary I am reading. So, close the input stream, uh, object input stream as well as the file input stream and if any error occurred in this task, it catches the exception system dot error dot print error. So, this is how you have to write the serialization programs. Okay, this is a program to demonstrate the serialization concept. So, I hope you understand. So, try to execute this program in your notepad plus plus. Okay. And try to execute the program on the command prompt. Then observe what will happen. So, if you want, you can do this program on the Eclipse IDE also. Okay. Thank you.